that's how you looked after you spilled milk all over your face. I was nine years old when I first understood how clumsy death could be. All elementary school milk cafeteria cartons and knocking knees turned doorknobs. Death could be found behind every doorway. For me, I thought it was knocking softly at first. Tickling the lips of my aunt upon my four-year-old cheek, a lasagna encased kiss of death. I am plagued by childhood's favorite drink, milk, found in all the most abundant corners of your food pyramid. It has been trying to triangulate my casket for years. I avoid hugs from the Nesquik bunny, reactions from the Cocoa Puffs bird, and run away from the rolling pin of the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> if milk touches me, I don't die, I don't giggle, I die. Death is so funny like that. 207 BC Greece. Chrysippus, a Greek stoic philosopher, dies from laughter after feeding his donkey wine and seeing it attempt to eat figs the way death laughed after a hearty breakfast of milk and figs makes you think it is made of these happenstances we call choices. Yet death has the too many zipper mouth children behind the doorways even when you knock. It doesn't match the sound of their optical illusions. The way one straight edge choice will multiply, multiply, multiply depending on the angle you're looking from. The death must be all about where you look from. 1940 New York City. Marcus Garvey dies as a result of two strokes after reading a premature obituary of himself. Do you have those kinds of eyes? Mm -hmm. The pair that can stare at death through your keyhole and understand you'll never be able to make out its shape. And death must be a shapeshifter. 762 China. Li Po, a Chinese poet, tries to kiss the reflection of the moon in the boat he is traveling in and falls overboard, drowning to death. Drowning to death, with lips bubbling from quiet starvation, quite literally drowning in his own pleas to never look at the moon in association with death. The death must be death by association. When an elementary school student spills milk all over your body, it will call you to question how death knows how to knock on doors and make it sound like a neighborly hello. Death is a master of doorways. 783 Massachusetts, James Otis Jr. dies as a result of lightning striking the chimney of a friend's house in whose doorway he's standing. Coincidence, when someone tells you that death knocks on doors knowingly and enters them, just scoff. Death doesn't knock on doors, it falls into them by accident, bearing apologies as, it's, <coughs> as your ears blend in with the stumbling into your life. There is no right time, no luck of the draw, no uneven wishbones. Death is clumsy and lost, but a broken clock can always be right two times a day. A faded happenstance can always be attributed to just happenstance, right? 1974, Florida. Christine Chubbuck, a television news reporter, commits suicide during a live broadcast by shooting herself in the head with a revolver. Death is so deliberate. Mm -hmm.